up, Street Kidders? How you guys doing today? Hi, everyone. We missed you guys this week. We hope you had a fantastic Easter. And we're really excited to get our new theme this month underway again this week, uh, where we're going to learn all about peace and reconnecting and building the bridge back to God. Uh, we're so thankful that last Sunday was Easter Sunday, and we learned all about how Jesus reconnected us, how he built that bridge, and how he made a way for us to spend eternity in heaven. And I know that I'm really thankful for that. I know Miss Christie's super thankful for that. And I hope you guys got everything you could out of that lesson because it's an important one. But we move on to more great lessons about how we can make peace with one another and how we can reconnect and build the bridge back to God. So let's start us off the way we always do with a little bit of prayer, a little bit of worship. Miss Christie, how about you pray for us to start us off today? Will do. Everybody, please bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for everything that you have done for us. We thank you that you were the one who reconnected us to God, that you built the bridge for us to be able to connect with God again and be able to have the relationship that we do. I pray that you would allow us opportunities to remind us of what you did and that we can remind others and that it will always be in the forefront of our minds. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, we're going to worship together today. And I just want to talk about how each month we have these worship songs that we sing and they always go along with our theme. And that's not by coincidence. That's planned so that we're always singing and worshiping about what God is teaching us that month. So I'm really excited this month to sing about how God continues to be our peace as we need him to. When things around us are getting a little crazy and things around us seem like they become overwhelming, God is always our peace. So let's sing and praise and worship to God today with Even When. See if you guys can guess Mr. Rocco's favorite part. Yep, it's coming up. You're my courage, I don't have to be afraid You're my fortress, no matter what comes my way You're my treasure, forever, yes we'll be together Oh 
So if you guys don't miss the Rocco at all, you know that his favorite part was probably one of two. Because I do have two favorite parts. We talked about this the other day. You do. But... I do. Like, I, I mean, I love the waves. That's, it's not even, it's this. That's what I did. <laughs> the waves. But I also love the strong and the salvation, like, muscles. All right, so you like the whole song. I do like the whole song. It's a great song because it's all about God giving us peace. So, of course, it's a great song. All right, guys. So, our theme for the month, reconnect, build a bridge. We talked about it last week. It's all about how we can reconnect back to God, how Jesus did that for us as we celebrated Easter. But it's also how we can reconnect with one another, mm -hmm. how we can build the bridge between ourselves and make peace in all situations. And peace is our bottom line, is our life application for the month. Miss Christy, why don't you tell us what peace is? So peace is a little word that has a really big meaning. And it's proving that you care more about each other than winning an argument. And we're really going to look at that specifically in today's story. Yes, we are. Absolutely. Uh, before we get to today's story, why don't we go over our memory verse and you know what? Take it away. Let's do it. So... Our memory verse for the month is Romans 14, 19. So let us do all we can to live in peace and let us work hard to build up one another. So I really like this one. And I know we said it last week too, but I really love how, again, this month, our Bible verse is like telling us what we need to do mm -hmm. and giving us a list of checkbox. I love lists. Yes. So I will Ms. make Christy everything that I lists. can into a list. So let us do all we can to live in peace and let us work hard to build up one another. Check, check, check. We can live in peace. Check. check. And we can work hard. Check. check. We can build one another up. Check. check. So I love it. Do you, you, know want... what, you know what I learned about check marks? You know lefties do check marks the other way? I do. I, do I didn't know that. know that. I do know I learned that, that this week. See, we're always learning new things, <laughs> even when you're as old as Mr. Rocco and I. <laughs> All right, let's go read and repeat on our memory verse. <laughs> all right, so let us do all we can. So let us do all we can. To live in peace. To live in peace. And let us work hard. And let us work hard. To build up one another. To build up one another. Romans 14, 19. Romans 14, 19. Great job, everyone. So we do want to build up one another. We want to take our memory verse and we want to apply it to our lives. So you guys may know, if you've ever been a part of a sports team, it takes everybody working together on the same page, doing their job to make the team the best that it can be. And you know, God created us to live our lives the same way. Mm -hmm. He wants all of us to do our part to make this the best life that we can. And it takes all of us doing our, our part individually, but working together as well to make that go. Did you guys ever have to work on a project in school with a group of people? It's hard. It's really it's hard. It's really hard because you have a bunch of different people that have a bunch of different responsibilities. And they're all trying to get the job done. But you can't step on the toes of the other person because everybody has their own job to do. And you don't want one person to do all the work where everybody else sits back because then they're going to be upset. Yep. And then the other people who didn't do the work might have had something really important to say that they didn't get a chance to say. Yep. So it can be really hard and it's very important that even though that's not a sport, that people work together, work as a team. Mr. Rocco and I have to work as a team to put together all of this stuff and to plan all the lessons and everything. So he does what he does. I do my part. And we work together to make it happen. Yep. And that's what God wants us to do. But our lesson today is about what happens when you don't do those things. And how when we don't work together as a team, it can really hinder us. Yes. Okay? Because God's plan is for us to work together. All right? So let's pay attention to the screen for this week's lesson about how we can do that. <laughs> It's your boy, Jacob, and today we're talking about peace. Peace is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. So if you had an argument with someone and you feel like that relationship is broken, peace can help you rebuild that relationship. 
It's like building a, a bridge. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Bridge, bridge. You can build a bridge out of anything. Legos. Popsicle sticks. Spaghetti. And even trash. Sometimes we throw things away without thinking about how much we really need them. So I'm going to recycle this big, beautiful bin of garbage by building a bridge. Let's do this. It's alive. Now we just need some glue. Um, glue, glue, oh, glue stick. That should work, right? Everything you build needs the right kind of glue to hold it all together. Without the right kind of glue, everything can kind of fall apart. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Recycle Bridge. See, it's hard to make things stick together when you don't have the right kind of glue. As you'll discover in today's story, helping people stick together takes the right kind of glue too. So, stick around. <laughs> you see what I did there? Stick. <laughs> the Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Colossians, chapter three, Verse 15. In a letter written to the Colossian church, the Apostle Paul wrote, Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Now let's see what that truth may look like played out in our lives today. Katie wiped the sweat from her forehead and took a long drink from her water bottle. How is it this hot in April? She looked back at the long patch of scrubby ground on the corner lot by Miss Watson's house. Her friends, Caleb and Nona, were both pulling weeds too. I thought we'd be done before lunch. It'll take us days to clear out all this brush. All three kids lived in the same neighborhood and were in Mr. Benson's seventh grade social studies class. It had been Katie's bright idea to start a neighborhood garden for their community service project. Well, we have to finish, unless you want to fail social studies. Even though the friends had been working for a couple of hours already, they'd only cleared the brambles from a small patch of land at the corner. Even when we finish pulling weeds, we still have to dig up the dirt. Yeah, and plant the seeds and water them and stuff. Look, we just need to get it done. I really want an A, okay? Let's use what we've cleared so far and pick one thing to plant. Sunflowers. What? They're big, they're bold. They'll brighten up the whole neighborhood. I don't want to plant flowers. Katie did a quick search on her phone for backup. Plus, you aren't supposed to plant sunflowers until summer. That's a big fat fail for class. Well, it feels like summer. We should plant a pumpkin patch. I mean, how awesome will it be to have all the little kids come right here to get their pumpkins in the fall? That's like half a year away. You guys. Plus two words, pumpkin pie. Uh, two more words is disgusting. Katie jumped right between her sparring friends. You guys, we need something easy that will actually grow now before the end of the school year. I looked it up. She held up her phone and showed them a picture of small flowers with viney green stalks. What are those even? You have got to be kidding me. Katie checked her screen again. Petunias, we can plant them right here by the stop sign. They grow super fast, we'll get a good pick for class, and then we're done. I thought the whole point of this was to help people. Petunias are nice. This is ridiculous. Something that small will just get overrun by all the weeds we haven't pulled. You got a better idea? Yeah, sunflowers. You know, something big and beautiful. Or pumpkins! Katie ripped off her gardening gloves and hurled them into the dirt. Fine, 
Do your own community service project. You're quitting the garden? It's not a garden, it's a weedy dirt patch. I'll do my own project. Katie grabbed her water bottle and her tools and stalked off. I cannot believe them. At home, Katie kicked off her muddy shoes and hurled her dirty gloves on the floor. How'd it go, sweetie? Awful. We hardly cleared any weeds, and Nona and Caleb wouldn't listen to my idea about what to plant. It is a pretty big project. I'm doing my own. Isn't it a group thing? Nona and Caleb don't even care about the grade. They want to do all this stuff with pumpkins and sunflowers and stuff we'll never even finish. I get it. It's a lot easier to keep it small, but it's up to you whether you want to hold on to being angry or go make this right with your friends. They started it. Look, God designed you to be at peace on the inside, peace with Him and with others. Okay, okay, yeah, I just, I don't know where to start. You could start with more help. I bet Miss Watson would be willing to lend a hand since that weedy patch is right by her yard. Maybe. Oh, and Mrs. Garcia is always trying to start a garden in their backyard, but she says it's too shady. Maybe she'd like to help. Katie nodded slowly. After lunch, she took a trip around the neighborhood and spotted Caleb shooting some hoops in his driveway. Then she dragged him across the street to knock on Nona's door. You realize I don't want to talk about this? I don't want to talk about this. Just give me a minute, both of you, please. Caleb and Nona stared at Katie, arms crossed. I'm really sorry. I got so stuck on making an A that I didn't listen to your ideas. I was just so hot and frustrated. Katie's friends waited. I talked to Mrs. Watson and the Garcias and that family with the little kids by the stop sign. They all want a garden, like a big vegetable garden. They want to help us. Really? We could clear the lot pretty fast with that much help. And we can plant everything, tomatoes and beans and carrots and sunflowers and pumpkins and whatever people want to eat. We'll have to help keep it up over the summer though. All the way to pumpkin season. Exactly. Okay, I'm in. Caleb gave Katie a high five. Then they both turned to Nona. She hesitated. Okay, sure, but you're not gonna get me to eat pumpkin pie, because sweet potato is way better. Deal. The Garcias can help out tomorrow afternoon, so we can get back to it then. Katie headed home, relieved that she was on good terms with her friends again and at peace on the inside. She was living out the truth of Paul's words. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Some days, people are hard to get along with. Your sister spills milk on your homework. Your mom packs your lunch with that weird kind of bread you keep telling her you don't like. You have an argument with your friend over your group project. You just want to yell at everybody. But the Apostle Paul reminds us in his letter to the Colossians, let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts as parts of one body you were appointed to live in peace. Do you hear that? It's your job to make peace with the people around you. It's one of the things that you were made for, but you don't have to do it alone. You can have the peace that Christ gives. That kind of peace is strong and powerful. It's the glue that holds relationships together. So, if your sister spills milk on your homework, be quick to forgive. If you're in an argument with a friend, be patient and listen. And if you feel like yelling at everyone, <sighs> count to 10 or yell into a pillow. Or better yet, ask God to give you peace. Don't throw away a relationship without thinking. Peace is more important than being right. Here's the one thing to remember today. We can make peace with others. Think about who you need to make peace with today. Ask someone you trust for ideas on how to take the first step. You'll probably need a little creativity and you'll definitely need the right kind of glue. Super glue. <laughs> this ought to do the trick. <laughs> when you see me next, I'll have a bridge that will truly last. Well, I'll see you next time.
So disagreements can come up between one another. It's going to happen in life. Nothing's going to be perfect all the time. And there's going to be times where Miss Christie might want to do something one way and I want to do something another way. And we have to come up with the best way to do it to make it work the best way possible. And sometimes, you know, that can cause arguments. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and tell you that me and Miss Christie don't have arguments because, of course, we do. There's times where Mr. Rocco talks a lot and I don't get to say anything. That, that's like most of our life together because <laughs> I talk so much and I don't talk a lot. But we know this about one another, and we work together to try and make it the best that we can. Yes, that's what God wants us to do. God wants us to work together as a team to get the job done. Mm -hmm. Okay, the best way we can do that is when we have disagreements. When we have uh, things that come up that might be a roadblock for us, we remember this week's bottom line. And that's, we can make peace with others. God wants us to make peace with others. He wants us to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be and take that and work together peacefully mm -hmm. to get the job done. So God made peace with us and now we can make peace with others. Exactly. And that's both of our bottom lines. Last week we learned, what? Who remembers? God made peace with us. Oh, I went too fast. <laughs> it's okay, Miss Christie. <laughs> we can make peace of this situation. We can make peace. <laughs> Last week we learned that God made peace with us. Okay? And he did that by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for us. And that's how he made that peace. But now he wants us to take that lesson and apply it to our own lives. And let us know that we can make peace with others. With one another. Mm -hmm. No matter what the situation is. No matter what the disagreement or argument might be. No matter what's going on around us, God wants us to know that we can make peace with others. And that's the best way we can do it. That's how we're going to get the job done. And that's how everything's going to go as smoothly as possible when we make peace with one another. And, you know, I think the big thing to realize is that when we're talking about peace, that our, our life app for the month is that, you know, you don't always have to be right. You don't always have to win the argument. Like if you are brother or sister really makes you mad and you're arguing about playing with a toy like is that toy more important than your relationship with your brother or your sister nope. it's really not is arguing to get your way like we learned in the video better than getting the job done with your friends right or risking losing that friendship because of an argument or or disagreement and i think when you really think about it it's not worth it it's it's never worth it god god designed us to work as a team to be a part of a flock, all right? And we're at our best and our strong, strongest when we're working together, okay? So take our LRSN this week and apply it to your lives. Make peace with one another. Get the job done and be at the best place that God can have you, all right? So, Miss Christie, why don't you read and repeat with our memory verse again. Let's do it. And learn how we can be at peace with one another. All right, so... I'll read it, and then we'll read and repeat. Absolutely. So let us do all we can to live in peace, and let us work hard to build up one another, Romans 14, 19. And I think, I'm going to digress again, I think that it's so huge, especially with our story this week, to remember the let us build up one another. Yes. So obviously the whole memory verse is important. Yes. But we have to look at it as a whole. Yes. So we can live in peace Living in peace means building one another up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the, you, you can't you can't back. do it by yourself. You have to do it with someone else. Exactly. Okay. All right, so let's do it. Ready? All right, I'm ready. So let us do all we can. So let us do all we can. To live in peace. To live in peace. And let us work hard. And let us work hard. To build up one another. To build up one another. Romans 14, 19. Romans 14, 19. All right, guys, let's pray for our lesson today. And, and let's pray especially for one another that we might be able to build one another up, to encourage one another, and to be at peace with one another. All right? So why don't you bow your heads, fold your hands, and let us pray today. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for this lesson. And I pray that you would help us to be at peace with one another. Remember that we can have peace with one another, that disagreements and arguments may come up, but the best thing we can do, Lord, is to take those disagreements, push them aside, and work together peacefully to get the job done. That's what you've called us to do, and that's what we want to do, Lord. So I just pray for each and every child that's listening to this message 
that you would help them to be at peace with one another. Give them the strength to get over their, their disagreements and their arguments. Help them to not fight with one another, but help them to be at peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, let's worship together one more time before we get out of here for the day. Get your hands going. Let me see those waves. Let me see those muscles. Let me see that cross. And let's get worshiping today. All right, guys, that's week two of Reconnect. Build the bridge. Guys, take this message with you. Take it home. Um, commit it to your memory. Commit it to your heart. Be at peace with one another because it's what God wants us to do. He wants us to be at peace. He doesn't want us to be arguing. He doesn't want us to be fighting. He wants us to take these lessons, apply them to our life. And that means being at peace when we're at home. And we tell you every single month that the stuff that we're learning about, you're going to get opportunities to practice. Yep. So make sure that you take the opportunity to be peaceful this week. Yep. Whatever God brings your way, just remember you want to be peaceful. That's what we want to do. All right. So no matter what comes your way, no matter what arguments, what disagreements, uh, whether your brother steals your toy or not, make peace, with, make peace others. with others. All right, guys, we love you. We hope you have a great week and we'll see you next week for week three of our reconnect theme. Bye guys. Bye bye.